welcome to Old Scary World. Today I have something special. I was doing a little bit of research and I came across the phenomena of dolmens. These dolmens that I'm going to show in this video are in Russia along the Black Sea and dolmens are actually found in other parts of the world, most notably in South Korea. So perhaps I'll do a video about the dolmens of South Korea in the future or possibly another episode regarding the dolmens of Russia. Now the interesting thing about the dolmens is that they are extremely megalithic in the sense that they are extremely heavy and there is no explanation as to how they were moved by man with simple tools and they date back tens of thousands of years and as you can see in this picture here they are constructed entirely of solid slabs of stone with a small entranceway here it is said that they were built by giants for a now extinct race of smaller people but I believe that that could be true but what I also believe could be true is that what we see here is the primitive form of what we now call Tartaria, perhaps a proto-Tartarian civilization. And what is also interesting is some of the other structures that are found around the area, but we'll get to that in a second. So here we see just watertight, airtight seals here. This is not one piece. In other words, this slab was set upon these slabs at least, according to the official story, 10,000 years ago. Now, I find that very fascinating. Because in the area, you also see structures like this in ruins. Now, we all are familiar with these. Now, what's the chances of something as primitive as this also being in the same area as something like this? So I think it's possible that these were built as sort of, I guess you could say evidence, these were evidence of a more ancient people in the same land as the Tartarians. And then here we have another rune that they left behind in the same area. And once again, evidence of precision and also very, very heavy very very heavy but still managed to put into very precise arrangements here's a good picture here and we see the hole here and we see how sometimes these are cut out these were cut out by people needing to get inside wanting to get inside to see what's inside now i believe and this is just a theory but i think it's a strong possibility that these were covering up entrances to underground tunnels, something of that nature. And these were sealed up with just a small hole. And that is what leads credence to the theory that they were built for smaller people, for a smaller race of people, that these were actually built by giants for the small people, and this was their little entrance in. But as we know, this isn't that tiny. In other words, uh, a lot of humans could fit through this. It's not that small. But there is holes that are smaller, and that just aids to the mystery. So here we see another one here. And this one's interesting because of the slope here that we see this, this kind of diangular, di diagonal uh, slope there. And then people have carved their names in there, so it's kind of hard to determine what the age of those is because a lot of people do do that. And then here we have a sign in Russian, if anybody knows how to translate that. Feel free to leave it in the comments if you know what the translation is. But the thing that's interesting about this one is you kind of see the melted effect, especially here and here and here. And then the other thing is, is how did someone get it on here like this without it falling? Now, did it erode and kind of warp over time from the rain? But that doesn't really make any sense either because why didn't it fall off? There's nothing supporting it that I can see. And it would just be very strange for them to have 
put it like this and then walked away from it without it falling exactly and you know they will say that this is from people walking on it this divot here this kind of concave thing here that this is from people walking on it and rainwater sliding down over millennia very possible i suppose technically but nonetheless very strange very strange how it still rests like this so uh, moving on so here we see a gentleman standing by one that also has that kind of sloped effect here then we see the tiny hole here and then this is what we believe uh, when we think of a Tartarian or uh, someone from the Kingdom of Tartary, we kind of think of someone like this with this uh, kind of headgear and uh, just these kinds of facial features and so forth. Sorry for the pixelations, the best I could find. And so yeah, he's posing by it and you know, I would too if I was there, I'd want to take a picture of one of these things. And then we see the same kind of divot here, once again probably from rainwater. That's fine and everything, but what I'm more concerned with is this extreme angle here and this extreme angle here. That's what I find kind of, in the, maybe it's sinking into the earth, under the weight, sure, fine, but still interesting nonetheless. And then here we have a representation of what these dolmens might have looked like, or dolmens, excuse me, what these dolmens would have looked like with a awning, I guess you could call it. Now this is a kiln, but these are found in the area of the dolmens. So the dolmen people, the people who built the dolmens would have had these types of kilns. So maybe it's a possibility that the dolmens were burial chambers. Maybe it's a possibility that they were some type of temple or sacred site. Not exactly sure or even concerned with the use of the dolmens, but rather just the logistics of the weight and the construction regarding them. And then the other thing that we find around in the area here by the Black Sea, and, and just for uh, further context, this is just north of the border of Georgia. So in the Baltic there, and then in the Black Sea, we find these um, very, very ancient, I guess you call them, um, I don't know what you call them exactly, sculptures, you know, uh, engraving, chiseling, I guess you, they were probably done with chisels, or at least that would be the official story. And we're going to get back to this. This is a close-up, but we're going to get back to this later, where this is, and uh, a better shot of, of where this was taken. So yes, we see these 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 types of tablets, I guess you call them, uh, very ancient, um, going back to uh, long-forgotten kingdoms of what we call Russia now, or Tartary. And then the other thing that's interesting is that we see these kinds of ruins here with these kinds of factories, and then we see this industrial factory here. And this is in the same area as the dolmens. So that's interesting as well. So I just want to throw that in there too, that we see these ruins and then what came after those ruins and then what's replacing that, these big factories. And then here we have another one. and. This is why I think I'm gonna to have to do at least a part two. I just wanted to kind of get it out there and see what you guys think. But the reason I have to probably do a part two is because there's so many. There's so many dolmens, uh, not just in Russia, like I said, but also in South Korea. So it'd be interesting to do some research on the South Korean dolmens and see if there's any striking similarities. But what we do see here is some, some um, I guess almost like runes, but some type of language some type of cuneiform text or some type of um, you know language here definitely and we see these on other dolmens as well and then once again the small circular um, entrance now i'm not sure if this is a painting or a picture that's super low res i mean it almost looks like a painting but regardless it's still representation and we see i'm sure if it is a painting it was based off of a real photograph or if somebody was actually standing there painting it because it seems so uh, realistic. So we see, once again, this huge roof. This is all one stone placed on these other ones and it's just, it's baffling how they would have been able to do this according to the official story 10,000 years ago. So either they were built by giants, they were built by humans with advanced tools, or they're not 10,000 years old. Simple as that. Those are really the only explanations. And I don't want to hear in the comments about aliens. I'm, I'm, I'm totally tired of that. So this is a 
further back shot of the close-up image of the stone tablets and uh, sculptures. And then we have this strange entrance here. Now this is what's now on contested territory. In other words, it's on Crimea. So it's in that uh, area between, um, between Russia and Georgia and Ukraine. So I thought that was interesting because there's dolmens in that area as well. And then we see this, this tunnel that was you know, precisely cut out here and they used that to make these, supposedly just left them. I'm kind of surprised there's so many left that people don't steal them. But regardless, there they are. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.